Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakaq Kadash, the Balan City Pastor and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elected nation of Israel. This is going to be a lesson on how Yahweh deals with a system of balance, man. Alright, how Yahweh has a system that balances everything out, man. Alright, good and good and bad, hot and cold, alright, right and wrong. Alright, I'm going to go, I'm going to go into the scriptures on, on this topic, man. This is Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1. A false balance is abomination to Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. Meaning that with every single thing on earth, it's like with every single thing on earth, there's an opposite, man. Alright? So you've got Israelites who are righteous, and then you've got Edomites who are wicked. Alright? You've got you've got balance in all things. And I'm going to go into what Solomon said regarding this topic as well, man. Alright? This is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. To everything there is a season. And a time to every purpose under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep. And a time to cast away, a time to rent, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time to a time of war, and a time of peace, man. And Yahweh's made a situation for every single one of those, man. There's a time of war that's coming and approaching this earth, man. All right, World War Three is going to approach this earth, and then at when these Edomites are destroyed during that time, man, and they end up in slavery under the Israelites, and then they get destroyed, that's going to be. A time of peace, man. After these Edomites are no longer around no more, there's a balance with every single thing that you have upon the earth, man. And even in terms of what I'll go to, it, right? Because this is also a system of balance that Yahweh's got as well, man. Right? This is Numbers chapter 35 and verse 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Defile not the land therefore which he so like it defiled not therefore the land which ye shall inhabit, wherein, wherein I dwell. For I, Yahweh, dwell among the children of Israel. And when the old inhabitants of, of the, when the Canaanites was in, uh, was in the land that Yahweh promised to the Israelites, man, they was doing wickedness there, man. And how did Yahweh make the Israelites get that land? They made, us, they made the Israelites destroy those people, man. All right? To cleanse that land, man. That land was cleansed by them, by them heathens that were defiling up that land, doing all the wickedness that it was doing there. That made that land be cleansed by that man. All right, and in the land of America, so much wickedness has gone there that Yahweh is just going to have to destroy that place. That land ain't even going to be dwelt in no more, man. That land can't be dwelt. That, that, that the balance of how Yahweh decided to clean that place is to completely destroy Babylon the Great, man. To completely destroy America, man. All right, that's the balance of that place. All right, and there's even a balance. Among the nation of Israel, man, how some people believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Some people have been given the grace to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and some people have been blinded, man. There's a balance there, too. This is Romans chapter 11 and verse 7. What then, if I have not obtained that which you seek for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded? Alright? Balance, man. But people try and make out as though Yahweh is just uh, one way, but he's not, man. He's not just one way. And I'm going to go to another scripture to prove that as well. We'll go to another scripture, man. First Samuel chapter 2 and verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich, he bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth. So lucky for the, for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he hath set the world upon them. All right? Yahweh decides, man. Yahweh, Yahweh's got a system of balance in all things, man. If, if somebody kills and goes around and keep killing, Yahweh's balance is that that person is supposed to be killed, man. If somebody's killed with a sword, if somebody's led into captivity, Yahweh's balance is that those people are going to be killed with a sword and that those people are going to go into captivity. And just to prove that I'm not lying and that I'm not speaking out of my own mind, all right, I'm going to prove that from the Bible, man, all right? I'm going to prove it from the Bible that Yahweh says if people are putting people in slavery, that they got to go into slavery, man. If people are killing with the sword, then they got to be killed with the sword. Alright? This is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. If any man have, a, have an ear, 
let him he, let him hear. He that killeth he he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. All right, that's that's what everyone that's saying that they believe in the Bible should be waiting for, man. They should be waiting for those that led into slavery to go into slavery. Now, is that the case? Is that what these Christians are talking about? No, because they're the ones that put people into slavery, man. So they ain't gonna talk about that. They ain't gonna talk about having to go into slavery themselves, right? And that's why these Edomites don't wanna have to believe, don't wanna believe in reincarnation. That's why these Edomites wanna believe in love everybody, because ultimately, believing that doctrine allows them to get away with wickedness, man, and allows them to be guilt free from all the crimes that they've committed, man. Whereas if you believe in, in reincarnation, then you have to accept that you. Are, are one of those people that had the Israelites in slavery, was book breaking them, was raping the children, raping the women, raping the men, making men commit incest with their own mothers, all right? Make force, forcing children to be homosexuals, all right? Just taking children away from their parents, selling them, breeding them together, breeding, breeding men with their mothers, all right? You have to accept that you as those people, man, and you're going to accept it anyway. You damn devils, man. All, all you Edomites that try and watch these Hebrew Israelite videos, right? Hoping that people are going to stop talking about your crimes. You're going into slavery, man. All right? All, every single Edomite is going into slavery. And it doesn't matter if anyone on the earth right now stops talking about it, man. Because the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai was made flesh. All right? So he's going to put you in slavery anyway. Even if everyone on the earth stopped talking about it, man. You'd still be going into slavery anyway. Because Yahweh can raise up stones. So the, the, the crimes that you devils have committed, man, are, the, there's a balance to it, man. All right? There's a balance to, to all the stuff that you devils did, man. This is Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. So just like how, how the Israelites were put into slavery, they're going to get the chance to put... Those people that had them in slavery into slavery, man, they're going to get the chance to rule over the people that rule over them. Because Yahweh deals with a system of balance, man. He has people that, he, he controls the deceiver and the deceiver, man. He controls everyone, all right? Balance, all right? This is Job chapter 12 and verse 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his, all right? Yahweh, yeah, Yahweh ain't just going to make all people be righteous. Because then nobody would be able to appreciate Nobody would be able to appreciate the, the, that that there's a that there's a difference, all right? They wouldn't they wouldn't be able to see the difference, man. If everyone was just keeping all the laws, they wouldn't be able to see how honourable and how glorious it is to keep the laws, man. So you have to have, have these Edomites, these damn devils, to be going around and doing all the stuff that they're doing, man. He had to do that. He had to, man. He had to. But people don't want to believe that he would do that, man. But he did it, though. He did it and he's doing it, man. This is Romans chapter 9 and verse 11 because this is going into the balance again, man. Romans chapter 9 and verse 11. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. And that's balance too, man. One nation that Yahweh loves and another nation that he hates. All right, that's balance. Verse 14, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh? Yahweh forbid. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of Yahweh that showeth mercy. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. And if you want to find out where that part of the scriptures is, man, it's in Exodus the ninth chapter, and I believe it's around... Like, if you start around the 12th verse and go up to, like, maybe the 16th or 18th verse, man, and, it's, and it talks about that. Verse 18, Therefore, having mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will, he hardeneth, all right? Which is, again, balance, man. Some people, Yahweh hardens their heart, and other people, he shows them mercy, man, to make them believe on him. Verse 19, Thou was saying unto me, Why doth he yet find fault for who have resisted his will? And no one's resisted his will, man. Yahweh's got control on everybody. And he uses them to perform the balance that he wants on this earth, man. Some people do the right thing, according, uh, and some people do the wrong thing according to what he 
deems is right, man, but they're all doing the things for him and working in balance, man, with how he wants things to happen on the earth and things to play out on the earth, man. Mm. So, like, yeah, verse 20, neighbour old man who walked out of the plans against Yahweh, he had a thing formed, said to him that formed it, why is thou made me dust? Have not the power power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honour and another unto dishonour? And the Israelites are vessels of honour. And the Edomites are vessels of dishonour, man. But they don't understand these things, man. They think that all the stuff that they're getting away with or got away with, they actually think that they have got away with it, man. But they don't realise that because you have a deal with balance, that their judgment has to come, man. Otherwise, that would make him a liar. That would mean that Yahweh is a liar if he says a false balance is an abomination. Because if you look at things on the earth right now, the Israelites ain't receiving no, nothing good right now, man. All right? We're on, we're, it it seems like it's unbalanced, man. That we're just catching all types of hell and ain't nothing ever going to change for us, man. But there's going to be a change, though. There's going to be a change, man, where these Edomites are going to be the people that are getting oppressed, which really it's not going to be oppression when, when they, they suffer, man. It's going to be justice. It's going to be justice, man. Verse 22. So like in verse 21, what have not the power power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honour and another unto dishonour? What if Yahweh was willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering, the vessels of wrath for to destruction, and that he might make known the riches of his glory and the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory? And that's what he's did, man. He's used the Israelites. He's going to use the Israelites to show what his mercy looks like. And use the Edomites to show what his wrath looks like, man. All right? And, and then in that, he's going to show balance, man. That, oh, this is what happens if I hate you. And this is what happens if I love you and show mercy unto you, man. This is what happens if I hate you and, show, and put all my wrath on you. You get completely destroyed. And this is what happens if I love you and, and show mercy to you, man. No matter, no matter how much wickedness you did, I still build you up to be a glorious people on the earth. And people are going to both fear and, and love you. How about you, Shumi Oshai, for that, man? They're going to they're gonna, like bow and not be able to say nothing against him, man. And on that note, I'm going to end, end the lesson. Yahweh deals with balance, man. All right? All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.